What's up, everybody? I'm back with some more uh, Atari. Oh, jeez, crap. Okay. So we're gonna do invasions today. I'm gonna start off with one that I'm not too familiar with, but I've played before. It's Galaxian. It's like Galaga's retarded stepbrother, but it's a fun game. So let's get started. I also got a couple of other uh, fun games coming up. Yeah, I do remember Galaxy not being the greatest game. Oh, god dang it, that was bullcrap. get you some because it's just in galaxy and the enemies kind of just do their own like thing I mean the game's kind of fun and it's got its challenge but Galaga this ain't oh, Galloway I got stuff to kills Purple douchebags. Oh, they're all angry. Got you. Oh, we got more coming down all at once. Well, that's interesting. So the game does know how to amp up the challenge. So, there's a, there's a guy on YouTube, and I do recommend his channel if you want to look into all things like old school, uh, Classic Game Room. Uh, I think the guy's name's Mark. Don't, don't hold me to that. But, he does like, he, he refused basically just everything. And he does a lot of old school stuff like Atari and uh, other stuff like this. And he gets into great detail about it, too. And his videos aren't very long, but just look at Classic Game Room. I haven't checked his videos out in a while. Uh, but I remember he, he, he loves, like, Atari and Vectrex. I love the Vectrex. A buddy of mine actually had one in high school. Uh, again, I'm not that old. It's just it something his dad had. So. But the Vectrex is really cool. It uses the vector graphics, which is something like uh, Asteroids arcade game used. And it's pretty cool. Get here. Go on now. I'm gonna start to shoot at. Oh. The big boss man's deployed. Haha, I guess. Oh, I was dead there. I don't think I could have threaded the needle. But I got an extra life. So yeah, if you like the Atari stuff, you want to see more, like, like just like flat reviews of him playing it in his own way. Check him out; he's pretty. He's got some good stuff. I ran across his channel by complete accident. I was like looking up. I was like, I wonder if he's playing like Atari games, and then I caught him. Uh, he's got some pretty funny videos in some of them. Okay, I am like. So glad I have played Ikaruga before. No, I am not good at Ikaruga, but it definitely helps. Ah, god dang it! In the bullet hell department, which is what this is turning into. The purple one, okay. Oh, I got a two for one right there. Heck yeah! Okay, we just got a bunch of easies to deal with. All right, we got that one. Oh, I was dumb right there. Okay, well that's Galactic. I didn't do too bad for my first time playing it in like probably 20 years. If not more than that. So, eh, that was Galaxian. 
it still holds up. It's not bad. All right, let's do a, uh, just a flat classic. Space Invaders. Who doesn't know Space Invaders? I mean, heck, freaking the bad guys from Nintendo 64 in uh, uh, Futurama are the Space Invaders. So here we go. We got three lives. The thing I like to do in this game is focus down one whole column. It has been a long goddamn time since I've played this. Actually, we need to get the bottom guys out of here. Because if they get too low, they're not got my things. But, as in sp true Space Invaders fashion, the more you kill, the faster they get. Crap, I missed him. I missed him again. I got him. Woo! The last one's always a tricky one. He's a freaking douchebag. Epic proportions. Saucer. Yeah! Got your mothership, now what? It's like playing Earth Defense Force! Which I just saw a trailer for 5, and it's coming out on PS4. I'm gonna have to find Breakdown and get me a PS4. Which I think I know of a way to get one for dirt cheap because my job has like these shopping points that it offers. Oh, this sucks! It sucked! Oh, is this flight game over? Oh, it got rough real fast. Anyways, Space Invaders, what can you say? It's a, it's a freaking classic. Alright, let's go with another, like, oddball game. This is Demon Attack from I Magic. This game is sick. So, it's kind of like a cleaner version of Space Invaders, but the, 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 the way the demons spawn in looks like so freaking cool. So, there's two ways you can play this. You can play it where you can, like, drop your missile, your shot off, or you can control it. Now, when it comes down to the last one, you can see where controlling your shot is worth it, but sometimes you gotta just, like, fire and scoop. Get away from the enemies, so they're not shooting at you. But there's tons of different looking enemies, and I love the the tone of the game. That as you start killing them, it like ramps up. It's more hectic. And pretty much every time you win, you get a uh, extra life, which is nice. But you don't need them. Now, oddly enough, my brother actually got to the kill screen on the 2600 version of this game. Oh, jeez, those shots are getting crazy. Oh! Okay, no, okay we only got max slot. Oh, that's right, these guys like break off in the little midgets. Oh, yeah, that's right. When you kill one of them, the other one gets all ticked off, starts coming down after you. So you gotta split them up, and then kill one to get the other one to come at you. But only if you get the last one left. Wee, 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 wee. You angry, bruh? You angry I killed your bruh? Some. Oh, you're not gonna come after me. Okay. Just sit there and flit around. Luckily, the shot that you throw out in this is actually kind of fast. Nah! No! Oh, shoot! Oh, that's right. There's no invincibility timer. This game is like. Oh, you died? Get the friggin' in there! Yeah! 
God, son of a... Freaking demons are being jokes. Yeah, I magic this is the coolest freaking game. So, oh, geez, yeah, I'm not getting any more lives. Did you guys been in the corner? Now what? Now what you gonna do? You gonna come out here and get me? Haha! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> yeah! Ooh! <laughs> Wait for me. Yeah. Yeah, I love this freaking game. This, this game is just so much fun. I mean, the enemies aren't very well animated. I mean, they're, they're pretty well animated for what it is. But there's just not a lot. A variety of the gameplay itself, really. Ah, I got, I got lazy there. I wasn't paying attention to me talking. Oh no, they have controllable shots. Oh, that's, that's garbage. And they're splitting up. God dang. Another no, no another game I could have put in this category. I guess I'll save for another day. Oh jeez. Oh I'm I'm so dead. Yeah, that's it. So that's Demon Attack, everyone. That's a fun little shooter. I said it just keeps getting harder and harder and faster. And just, oof. So now we're gonna play a true classic, Defender from Midway. So this is not the best version of Defender, but it's fun. See, I like to think of this game as, uh, like, how you shoot, because your ship disappears when you fire, is that, uh, you're, like, you're basically going into, like, hyperdrive, and you're dashing into the enemies. At least in this version. So you do have a radar at the top of the screen that shows where enemies are, and it does work. But you can go, well, not really all that fast, but this is a different type of shooter, because you can go left, and you can go right. And you can control the screen accordingly. Accordingly. Oh! Hey! 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 Put that down. There we go. Now you can. Now those are civilians. The little dots on the ground, and the saucers are trying to steal or, or kidnap people or abduct them, as you will. Um. The thing about the saucers, though, is that oh, son of a biscuit. Ran right into me. Uh, if I'll, I'll show this. Let's see. Go, go try to kidnap somebody. Hey, I'm letting you try. Huh? You want to do it? Oh, somebody got it. Okay. Now watch this. If they if they exit out, it's bad. But if you do this, <laughs> yeah, they they smack the pavement. So you got to try and save the people. So I will show that. So what you can do is you can zap them. Oh, come back here. I got you. I got you, buddy. Catch them. And then you can drop them back off on top of the building. Dang it! You're a freaking joke. But what you can do is go down in the city. And you can use these bombs. And they kill everything on the screen. So there's, there's also that as an option. Nope, I'm not doing that. Now you can still go into the like uh oh what do you call it? The hyper zone. Dang! Oh that's right, if they steal somebody the the giant like mutant thing comes up in the atmosphere. And the game suddenly went from stupidly easy to this is freaking dumb and ridiculous. And that's Defender. I think you can still go into the hyperspace route. There's like a way to do that, I can't remember how. But it's full of just mutants, so. But it's a fun game. Like, the arcade is really cool. And then there's Defender 2 that came out on the arcades. And it was kind of eh. 
And then there really wasn't any more Defender. I think there was one on the PlayStation 1 that they tried to remake it with, and it was eh. It was like a base combat style game, but it was meh. So, that's Defender. Now for a true, true, probably one of the coolest games ever. Missile Command! To finish up our invasion. I have not played this in ages, but I know the concept. Basically, you gotta fire your flat guns into the nuclear missiles and blows them up. Now, actually, <clears throat> we had this on the Game Boy. It's way better because when you blow up enemy missiles in that version, they create explosions that then hit uh, other missiles. And it also has the bombers and everything, which this game does not have, unfortunately. But, uh, regardless, this is still a pretty good, uh, version of that arcade game. <coughs> God, I forgot we used to have this on Game Boy. So, play the heck out of it, too. Fast. And this game gets really crazy really fast. But this is a game I am pretty decent at. So, if a missile strikes a city, it blows up the city. If you get like 10,000 points, you get a new city. The city will become re uh, rebuilt. If a missile strikes your gunner position, you lose a clip. And you start every match with, with three mags. You got one that's already loaded in and two extra mags. You don't want to lose your mags. Oh, look at that. I got all three of them. It saves me a shot for later. Don't put too many shots out. The game's yelling at me. Got a misfire. Three points per city. Oh yeah, it's starting to get a little crazy now. Oh, smart bombs. Yeah. can't do that many explosions. Oh no. Oh, I was gonna miss. Okay. Yeah, the missiles don't always hit right on target. But basically, these are nuclear bombs coming at us. But we're throwing up a flak defense. Sometimes those smart bombs, they, they'll, they'll bounce off the edges of your explosion. It's kind of crazy. Oh yeah, we're getting to the, the end of the game now. Or the end of the, the route. Whoa, now look! Oh, we lost the city. Yeah, it's best if you, like, land the flak burst right on top of the smart bomb. Now that sound means they rebuilt the city, which is stupid sounding. But you do, like, stock up extra cities, which is nice. So I've already used up one, I have another one in reserve. I'm about to get another one. Flight burst out, and there, oop. There we go, that, okay, we lost one city. now. 
Oh, shoot! Okay, those two duds. No one going to hit nothing. That one hit a city. Crap. Actually, when, as you start losing cities, it actually gets easier because you don't have as much to protect. And if you can lose all the cities on one side, it don't hurt nothing. I should have them all back now. Yeah. Okay, I've used up all my extra cities. Crap! I knocked out a clip. It's not good. I was way off my targeting. Your last city to be right next to your your base here because you can protect your gun position and the city pretty easy. All right, good. They're on one side. Oh shoot, that's not good. Ah. Frickin' don't! No! I lost. Oh, cover your butts! Okay. I used to always creep me as a kid. Hearing that final missile come down. But yeah, that's frickin' invasion! Boring. Well, no, not boring. Invasion of the, of the Ataris. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Tune in for more next time, and I'll catch you then. Later.